Casper's number one for New Country, My Country 95.5. I am Doc. And I'm Prairie Wife. And we love having guests on the show, Prairie Wife. And a very distinguished gentleman is with us on the phone. We do. We have two doctors because you're Doc Holiday. I'm pretend Doc, though. <laughs> there's there's the, the nickname Doc and then there's a real doctor. Yeah, there's a Dr. Warren who is a local neurosurgeon. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. I'm great. How are y'all? We are fabulous. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, chat with us a little bit this morning. So just to let our listeners know what's going on, you are a local neurosurgeon here in Casper, and you're an author, and you have an upcoming book signing for a book that Dr. Warren, I have to admit, absolutely, I found profound and amazing. I'm gushing a little bit. I know. (laughs) And the title of your book is I've Seen the End of You. And one of the things I wanted to talk to, we have a lot of veterans that listened to our show and you actually served overseas as a neurosurgeon for the armed forces. Can you tell me a little bit about that? And I think you wrote a book about that too, didn't you? I did. Um, So yeah, I was in the United States Air Force. I was very blessed to receive a scholarship from the Air Force to go to medical school a million years ago. (laughs) And then um, as part of my service, uh, I was on active duty uh, in San Antonio, and I was deployed in 2004 and five to um, an Air Force combat theater hospital in Iraq. Um, at the time, it was the largest air base in theater, uh, Balad Air Base, which was the site of Saddam Hussein's former Iraqi Air Force Academy, mm-hmm. incidentally. But we had a tent hospital set up there, and we got mortared every day. And for the time that I was there, um, I took care of about 200, performed about 200 brain surgeries in that tent hospital. We took care of U.S. forces and then uh, injured Iraqi civilians and children and also uh, the enemy, uh, insurgents and terrorists who took care of them. Wow, I actually uh, did not pick up on that part that you weren't just taking care of our soldiers, but anyone that needed your help, you were available for them. That's right. That's the beautiful thing about the U.S. Armed Forces. You don't hear it on the media much, but our combat medics in the field, they take care of whoever's in front of them. And so they would often patch up guys and put them on the helicopters and bring them to us and be a U.S. Marine and then the next bed over would be the guy that set the bomb off. It was quite remarkable how everybody served their fellow man, no matter who they were. Wow, I see. I, I am sitting here, Doc and I are sitting here nodding our heads and just processing everything that you just said there. That, to me, was that hard for you to do or do you feel like because you are a man of faith it was your job to take care of people and to not judge? You know, it, w- it was really hard at first um, because we had, uh, right after I got there, one of the first mass casualties that we had, um, the story about this one patient was that he had detonated a bomb and there were some killed babies and a bunch of injured Marines. And, and so everybody was sort of mad that we were taking care of this guy that survived who had caused all this mayhem. And then about two days later, some soldiers came in who had a different story and they realized that this guy was actually not the guy that set the bomb off. He was an innocent bystander. And so we had the wrong story. And all of our attitudes changed. And so we realized, like, we didn't always know. You don't, you don't know somebody else's story, right? Yeah, yeah. Unless you see it. Uh, and so we just decided we were going to take care of everybody and let God sort out the, you know, the difference. And um, it really set us free from that burden of having to think we could judge people and it and it made a difference in how we cared for them. Well, and that's something that you talk about as well in your um, book, I've Seen the End of You, which kind of, it, I don't want to say it focuses on a brain tumor that has an absolutely terrible survival rate, but it kind of does. And you talk about, you have one patient who's, you know, what society would consider a really good person, a family, you know, a family man. And then you have another patient who is diagnosed with a tumor as well that is in there because of meth use and and violence and things like that and how you as a doctor have to deal with treating both of those patients and the outcome of that. Yeah, so, um, and I've seen the end of you, I tell the story of a man named Samuel who was a really good family man and he develops this malignant brain tumor and it, and it just seems so unfair. You know, we, we ask these questions of God, like why do you let bad things happen to good people? Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, we see all these other folks who they don't seem to live their lives according to any sort of ethos, um, and they often have a better outcome, it seems like. And, and what I've learned over the years is sometimes God gives us extra time. You know, God gives us extra opportunity to find Him uh, in different ways. And I think, um, again, that's a that's one of those grace things where 
something bad can happen to you, and sometimes that can change your life in a positive way, which is what happened with Joey in that story. Which I think that is such a phenomenal message. Now, we have to continue on with our morning, Dr. Warren, but local um, listeners have an opportunity to meet up with you. You have a book signing Saturday, May 30th, 2 o'clock to 3 p.m. All the details about the location, everything like that. Our listeners can find that in an article as well as how to access your podcast, your website, and of course, take a look at those books that you've written and published. Is there anything else, Dr. Warren, that you'd like to leave our listeners with before we go? Uh, no, I'm, I'm really grateful to be with you today. And um, it is Memorial Day on Monday, so I'd like to thank all the veterans and everybody listening that has served our country. And uh, we remember the fall on, on days like that. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly. And Dr. Warren, thank you for your service and the profound message that you have put into the books that you've written. Have a good Memorial Day weekend, sir. Thank you. You too. God bless. Thank you, Doctor. All of, uh, if you somehow jumped in the middle of this, all of the interview, you can find it not only on Facebook, but also through the My Country 95.5 mobile app.